Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you guys the process for doing eRes Life. Um, for those that didn't read the entirety of the email, we do have a couple changes. Um, so over the weekend until Tuesday night, you're just going to be filling out your contract, setting up your roommates, and setting preferences for you for where you want to live. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you'll actually be getting to select where you want to live on campus. Um, there's also an off-campus form that I'll show you guys um, real quick, but it's super easy to fill out, and that'll be done by students that are living in the apartments or are living off campus. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. Um, so first thing you're going to do, you're just going to want to log into your Okta account. Um, when you get there, you'll probably get a notification that says you have a new tile. Eros Life is right down here. Um, you're going to click it. Um, we have had one glitch for some students, um, so it might pop up saying it didn't log in. Um, you're going to want to just click in to change your password, um, and then you can reset it just to whatever um, your normal login is for Okta. Um, that's what we had to do with Dana, who's graciously letting me use her account. Um, so next year when you guys come back and August, there's going to be more things going on here, um, but this is just all the stuff that is needed in order for you to do your housing application. Um, so kind of the first step will be looking at your recommended actions. Um, so kind of the, all it shows right now is apply for housing. There's three different ways to get to it. You can click any of them. Um, so click manage housing applications. If you are a returning student that wants to live on campus, you're going to fill this guy out up top. If you're living off campus or you're going to be living in the apartments, you're going to click the bottom one that says off campus application. Um, the off campus application is very, very simple. Um, we're going to ask you to select what sums up where you're going to be living um, and how you're requesting to live off campus. Um, so if you're a junior or senior, that's all you select. Um, if you're over 23, if you're married, or if you have been applying for an exception request and have been approved, then that's what you would select. And then we're just asking you to please share your address um, so the mail room has that contact info if they need it. Um, after that, you would just click continue and then you just read the rest of the contract. Um, and that's kind of all you would do um, for off-campus housing in the meantime. Um, and then this is what the process will look like if you're doing your housing application and you want to live in a residence hall. Um, you're going to click apply now. Uh, first thing it's going to show you is a box of residence building preferences. Um, so you're just going to select what your preference is on where you get to live. Um, and then you can also move them around. Um, to sort for what your number one preference is. You're going to click continue. And now this is the application form. This will be what's asking a bunch of questions. Um, I alluded to the fact that a lot of these questions won't be necessary for everyone, but we're still asking everyone to fill them out. Um, it'll be really beneficial if you end up having an empty room in your suite or in a quad or triple um, and you have to be roommate ready for that. Um, so that way you can kind of look at the transfers that we might have coming in over the summer, making sure that we're making a good decision with you guys on who should be placed in your room or your suite. Um, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to select your room type preference. Um, so if you're wanting to get in Trinity, um, you might do something like this, and then maybe your next choice is a quad in St. Charles or a triple. Um, one thing to note, um, there are only two rooms in Trinity that are double and then two singles. Um, those are 222 and 322. Um, they're at the end of both halls. Um, and then there isn't one on the first floor because that's where we have the little chapel. Then you're going to go down and uh, you're going to answer your floor preference. Um, this won't have as much impact this year because we're going to do an entire housing lottery. Um, then you're just going to go through all these questions. Um, I'm going to just click through them real quick so that you guys don't have to watch a crazy long video. Um, but 
like I said before, please answer these honestly. Um, because though you may have four roommates or two roommates and your room is full um, after housing selection, um, it's still possible that you will be um, having a, a roommate transfer and then in that case you're also going to end up transferring um, or having somebody move in with you that you wouldn't normally know. And so we do want these uh, questions answered so that we can place the right person with you. So now this is kind of your application overview. Um, it says you're applying for housing. It says what your number one choice is. Um, then you're going to agree that you have opened and understood the terms and conditions um, of the housing contract. And then you're declaring that you've shared all information to be true. Um, I'll show you the terms and conditions. It's just a Microsoft Word doc. And it is just an updated version of what you would have checkmarked like 10 times last year on the form that you would have filled out last year. So I'm going to submit the application. Um, it's going to say thank you. You have receipt number, it has submission date. Um, and then after that, we're going to move on to the next part that you have to do, um, which is roommate groups. Um, so you're going to create a roommate group. Um, you can make it whatever you want. Um, one note of advice, please keep all roommate group names um, politically correct. Um, not anything that would be considered not a good representation of the mission of Carroll College. Um, I think that's all I, I really need to say. Just make your group name something that's appropriate. Um, so then Dana could go in and add additional people that she wants to live with. And all you're going to do um, based on that is you're just going to type in the person's email. Um, and then if you had other people, you type those in too. And then you just hit save. Um, in this case, it said it could not find Dana Beatty because she is her own person. Um, so for the sake of process, I'll see if I can just enter in my email. So then it'll show that you have something looking like this. Um, and that is going to be the process for all you have to do um, up until Thursday. Um, if you are then somebody who is signed in and one of your friends already created the roommate group, you can click to view all groups um, and it'll show a list and it'll show who's listed in there. Um, so then you could click to select that that's what you want to be or you could choose no group and now you're no longer a part of that group. Um, or you could delete it and make a new one. Um, so that's kind of all you're going to be doing until Tuesday. Um, and then once we hit Wednesday morning, we will use the housing lottery and I'll record an additional video for that as well. If you have any questions, um, please shoot me an email. I'll do my best to reach out to you as you send emails, um, but definitely don't expect any emails to, re to be replied to on Sunday, but I'll definitely reply, reply back on some on Monday. Thanks.